I had to turn the radio off before I started. I was listening to La Boheme at the Met, uh, but since we have copyright problems with the videos, uh, I can't have the radio on in the background. Anyway, I'm working on the uh, hinge mortises uh, right now, and uh, what I did was I uh, planed the edge of the the lid uh, to match the uh, size of the little top there. So they uh, did, and then I marked out where I wanted the hinges uh, on the uh, top and the matching lid. Let's see if we can see it there. And we're just getting started with the mortise there. But you can see uh, I got my router plane out in the uh, hinge and I'm going to antique the, uh, these are brass, but I'm going to darken them later. And uh, so they go right about there. They're four inches in from either side. And uh, the mortise has to be three thirty seconds of an inch deep. So uh, what I'm doing, I'll try and stay out of the way so I'm not photographing my back. But I'm using a router plane here to route over the edge and try not to knock the back off uh, too much but uh, you have to work it down slowly taking a slight cut off each time until we get down to the, the proper depth so it's careful work well I've attached a lid to the desk here after I finished uh, cutting the mortises, uh, the hinge mortises here, uh, and uh, it's uh, pretty good. You're supposed to use a uh, two, two doubled over uh, business card to check the thickness, and it's okay here, and it's okay over here. In fact, it's a little tight right there. Yeah, uh, in the middle here. It uh, could be a little closer, although it kind of kind of fits. So I may leave it alone. Uh, I have to take it off, of course, and uh, I so I could make, get it closer by, of course, deepening this mortise, these two mortises here, so that it would be closer. But uh, give me some, it'll give me some thought. So now. Uh, the gallery here uh, needs to be designed, so I've got to decide what kinds of pigeonholes and if drawers are appropriate uh, for that area. So uh, that's my next step. Well, I've started to work on the gallery that um, I'm going to put into the desk. Um, and uh, what I've decided to do is make three uh, drawers and four pigeonholes by dividing the space in half. So I uh, Mill some 3 8 inch stock for the uh, frame that you'll slide it slide into the uh, into the uh, desk the top of the desk and then this will be divided in half with the drawers on the bottom and the pigeonholes on the top. So um, I just thought I'd dovetail it together here. So I'm I'm chopping out the uh, the dovetails at the moment and then I'll show you when I uh, slip the outside frame in. So I made this uh, box with the uh, pieces that you saw earlier and the thing is starting to fall off the front here. I don't want to fasten it down yet. But um, as you can see I dovetailed just the short pieces in here. Now when this thing is completed I'm going to put uh, three drawers down here which will be uh, about half of the side, and then I'm going to put three uh, or four, or four rather, uh, pigeonholes up here. So I need verticals, I need a centerpiece, and I need verticals um, for the pigeonholes, and then verticals. So all that will uh, have to cut it to fit, and then uh, put some uh, grooves or dados into the pieces where. Uh, you want the pieces to slide in. So all the, so this will come apart and those will be the next steps. But once you get the thing made, then 
the whole thing would slip into this space here, like so. And then we'll have the drawers and so forth. Now, uh, I think if I were to design it again, this probably should have been a lot deeper um, to make it practical, but again, it's more decorative uh, than it is uh, a practical desk at, the, at this point. So we're going to have a few drawers there and then some pigeonholes. Well, using uh, my dividers and uh, obviously a ruler and pencil, I uh, marked out on the uh, inside of the box here where I want to put uh, dividers. So you can see on the top here we have four sections and then on the bottom the uh, three sections for the drawers and then on the side I've got to put in a, uh, a piece here that separates the uh, pigeonholes from the drawers. So that'll be first to cut a dado in here and then uh, fit a piece in. Well, I put the dados in the two sides uh, so that I could uh, measure the uh, centerpiece. And uh, so now I've marked off the three uh, pieces so that uh, they match. I guess that would be a match. And the, so one has one side had the centerpiece, one side has two. And the other side has three. And so now all I do is got to cut the dados exactly in the same place, which uh, could be challenging. So we'll give that a shot. So I um, put the dados into the uh, center board, as you can see here. We'll back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. So now it's just a matter of matching the, these grooves uh, with the lower ones. Um, and then, uh, of course, making the, the center pieces. Cutting the uh, dados in the top and bottom pieces. cut the assemble it and cut the center pieces fitting the uh, pieces here together so I've had the end grain on this side well, that looks pretty good so we gotta take it downstairs and see if it uh, fits in the uh, desk well, let's see if it uh, still slides in here. For more information about the Nutcracker from Ohio, a little bit. Here, your tickets, if you want, high. Today, oh, it makes it. For Friday night, December 18th, 7:30 p.m. at Stonker Art Center on the campus of Lorain County Community College. So, uh, three things must be understood. You must yeah. be free Friday night. You must be. It able looks to all right. To the drawers go down community. here. And These aren't uh, very practical pigeonholes for letters. But uh, well, I guess you could put here something in there. For the movie quiz today. So, so now to make the drawers. Gluing up the uh, gallery. So once it's dry, we can work on the drawers.